who's going to make this death-defying jump is 42-year-old Jim Welty. Now, Jim is not going to try to make the jump in his toy road roller. He's not making it in his golf cart either, or in his small tractor, or in his large tractor. In the interest of safety, Jim is going to try to jump over five cars in his tank. Jim Welty of Fairborn, Ohio, is a physics teacher and former stock car racer who collects old vehicles the way some people collect coins. There are more old trucks in Jim's backyard than there are trees, and most of these massive mobile toys are military. There are a number of people who feel military vehicle collectors, myself as well as some of my friends, are somewhat strange, and the activities that we do are perhaps even subversive. And of course, uh, this is uh, as far from the truth as it could be. We like these machines for what they are. They were a fine engineered piece of equipment. In order to keep them all in running condition, Jim keeps them all gassed up from old gas pumps, which he's also collected. If Jim hasn't got one of the world's largest private collections of used military vehicles, he does claim to have the world's largest private collection of used spark plugs. Even though Jim is no longer a stock car racer, he considers he's still a bit of a spark plug himself. And long before Evil Knievel tried to leap Snake Canyon, Jim has always dreamt of leaping over five automobiles in his classic M5 Stewart tank, the only one left in America in running condition. So you merely start up the engine, and when you're ready to go, you pull this lever on the seat, and you go. Today was the day Jim was going to go for it. He pulled on his crash helmet, put his M5 in gear, and headed to the far end of his backyard. Here in front of a ramp built to his exact specifications were the five vehicles he was going to attempt to soar over. Hundreds of townsfolk gathered in a downpour to watch in nervous expectation. Medics manned their emergency vehicles prepared for the slightest mishap in an undertaking many thought was too risky. He's real crazy. The greatest man you ever meet. He's crazier than anybody. Never seen a man attempt something this of this type. I wish you'd ask me to ride along with him. Many of his neighbors thought Jim was crazy, but Jim said it was his neighbors who were standing in the rain. Jim had planned this leap under the most favorable of weather conditions. With the ramp and the road a little bit damp now, even Jim was becoming a little apprehensive. But there was no turning back. He jammed on the accelerator and headed into history. Now that we know Jim is safe, let's see an instant replay of that amazing stunt in slow motion. That's in, in, that's indescribable. 